Hello YouTube, this is Detroit Borg and in front of you is the new 6th generation iPod Nano. Today is September 8th and they are just arriving in stores today and I received this through FedEx next day delivery. So let me go ahead and crack this open. Okay, here we have the Nano inside of its wrapper. We're just going to peel this off. Get around the box, we can see the model information and serial number, iPod Nano on the side, of course the Apple logo on the top, and on the back we can see some other information. On the back we can see that this is the 8 gig model, and this is also available in 16 gig. So we have this little tab here to pull off. And of course we can see that the shuffle is just sitting in the top, and we can just pull it off. We're just going to set this aside for now and see what's in the package. Designed by Apple in California. Underneath we have a little instruction booklet. So let's see what's in here. Start here. It's an instruction guide. Song control. Set up and sync. We also have some regulatory information and warranty information. And a slightly bigger Apple sticker than the one that came with the iPod Shuffle. Inside we have the earbuds, and of course these also do not have the remote control. All the controls, again, are on the iPod Nano. However, if you do have the headphones with the remote control, they will work with the Nano as well. And inside, we have a little uh, tab to pull off. So this is the sync cable. And I don't need another one of those, so I'll just keep these in the package. Now the Nano itself is on this plate, and on the back again is this tab that we pull off. And it should just slide out. Of course the image on here is actually a sticker, so we want to peel this off. Before I turn this on, let's just take a look around. Again, we have this clip on the back, which is very similar to the iPod Shuffle. If we look behind the clip, we do have some FCC and serial number information. Of course, the Apple logo. On the bottom is a 30-pin dock connector along with the headphone port. On the top, we have the volume controls and the sleep-wake button, which is familiar to iPod Touch and iPhone users. The Nano is available in seven different colors. I've chosen silver here. Some of the colors are exclusive to the Apple Store, including the product red. Now, let's turn this on for the first time. So it turns on very fast. I'm going to click English. I'm going to click Done. And here we are. So it's very similar to iOS, but it is not iOS. You can change the wallpaper, you can move the icons around, and you basically scroll left to right. If you want to move an icon around, just hold the icon until it jiggles, and then you can drag it around. And in order to freeze the icons, you just tap the lock wait key again. Now if we go to settings, we have some other options to change. General, photos, pedometer, reset settings. And if you want to get out of the settings, just swipe to the right and it brings you back to the home screen. Now the screen itself is a perfect square. It's 240 by 240 pixels with a pixel density of 220 pixels uh, per square inch. And the display itself is only 1.54 inches. It is a multi-touch user interface, so you can actually change the rotation by using your fingers. Thankfully, the Nano does retain this 30-pin dock, so you can use a dock. Unfortunately, the Nano does not come with any dock adapters. So here I have a universal dock, and all I have to do is slide this on. Now the iPod Nano is fairly basic. It does lose some features like a video camera and the ability to play back video. It's now basically a music or photo viewer. Now taking a look at some of the features, we can see that uh, we have a radio on here which is only available if you plug in some headphones. You can kind of hear some of the music coming out of the headphones right now. Now in order to get back to the home screen, you can just swipe back. Now if you plug in a set of headphones with a mic, you will get a voice recorder. So you can see that pops up as soon as I plug those in. Of course, it doesn't come with headphones with a mic, so you have to purchase those separately. Or in my case, I'm just using the ones that came with my iPhone. Of course, we have a clock. You can also go to Photos. And we can tap in and look at a photo. 
Now we can't pinch the zoom, but we can double tap to zoom up and pan around. And we can play to play slideshow. And you can change these settings under the settings tab. The Nano also supports the Nike Plus iPod feature, so if you have the Nike Plus kit with the adapter, you just plug this into the 30-pin connector. And you'll just have to go to Settings to go to the Nike Plus iPod. Now in order to hear the iPod, I've gone ahead and connected to my external speakers. So let's go to Radio first. So you can go ahead and use this scroll bar here to tune the channels. You can stop and play. Now if you have the remote on the headphones, this will also work. We're just going to add favorite. So now that we've made it a favorite, we can just skip to one of the channels. Now let's go back to iPod. As you can see, it continues to play even though we're in the home screen. So let's go back to radio to turn it off. Now let's go to albums. And we can see some of the Coldplay albums I loaded on here. Let's go to Viva La Vida. Let's go to Cemeteries of London. And we have the volume controls up here so we can increase the volume. Or drop the volume. And if we want to pause, we just touch the screen, click pause. And to go back, just swipe the screen. And select another song. Of course, you can skip ahead. And again, you can also use the remote on the headphones if you have them. Now, if we look down here, we see some dots, which indicates there's another screen. Now we can see there is a continuous play. We also have the genius feature, and we can select shuffle, or we can scrub the song. Now, if we go back, we can also see there's an I here. If we press I, there's some info here. And it takes us back to some of the album information. And of course it continues to play while we navigate around. Now if we compare this to the new Nano, it's actually not too different in size. Both are clip-on designs. And they both have the same polished aluminum finish. Generally they share very similar dimensions. They're about the same thickness. They are smaller overall, however, um, but they have very similar clip design. Now if we look at the previous generation of Nanos, we can see that the new one is a huge departure in terms of its form factor. All the previous Nanos, of course, had the click wheel, which the new generation has done without. And certainly much smaller. In fact, the screen is uh, still bigger than the first and second gen, but it's smaller than the third, fourth, and certainly the fifth gen. Of course, the fifth gen had a lot of features. It had a non-HD video camera, video camera only, not still camera. It also had an accelerometer that, uh, for some features on the iPod Nano, would rotate the screen to landscape mode. Now, the fifth generation also does have shake to shuffle, so if I'm playing something, I can just shake. and we'll change to a random track. This is a feature that was available on the fifth generation Nano. Now the sixth generation Nano is actually the first one to feature this all aluminum unibody design. The others were uh, one piece of aluminum, but they were actually extruded, so they had these plastic caps at the ends. The uh, third generation was a sort of clamshell design, so it was basically an aluminum plate over a stainless steel plate. This was another extruded design. And again, this was a plastic plate over a stainless steel plate. So this is probably a little more durable than any of the previous generation Nanos. Certainly there is less plastic on here. Of course, if we look at the other Nanos, the designs were very similar. They all had the docks on the bottom with the headphone jacks. This is also the case with the newest generation of Nano. Again, the dock is on the bottom along with the headphone jack. But of course, the clip is new. And of course, the volume buttons and the sleep-wake switch are new, but absent from this generation of Nano is the lock switch. So we no longer have this lock switch. And of course, if we look at the back, we can see the stainless steel models along with the aluminum model. The fifth generation Nano had this polished aluminum finish, as does the sixth generation. So once again, guys, this is Detroit Borg with an unboxing and demo of Apple's new sixth generation iPod Nano. Thanks for watching.